the key that we found to work outside is to be multimodal, right? In terms of your sensing, don't rely on just one sensor. Got it, okay. Just like a human doesn't rely solely on yeah, is are our eyes dominant? Yeah, but we use our ears. We yeah, everything feel... seems fine, but I'm hearing this weird grinding sound. What is that? Yeah. Right, exactly. Um, or if you're driving in a car, boy, are you using what you're this? You know, the forces you're feeling. Yeah, that semi circular form. canals, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Back of the seat against you if you hit the accelerator real hard. Yep. So multimodal is really important to getting increased reliability out outside and then even the algorithms for interpreting that that perception uh is critical right you you want to have maybe three or four algorithms oh interesting running in parallel That's all cool. processing the same data set do you have a voting so, system that deals with that yeah so you well i i, I don't know if i can speak to that no uh, worries but but yes, you're fusing it, some, you know, and how that's done, you, you got to bring in someone uh, smarter than me. But you, you, but I know that they're fusing this information such that you're, you know, this algorithm saying, hey, this is 90% uh, confidence that we're grasping this uh, photovoltaics panel the correct way. And this one's yeah. saying 99%, this one's saying 97 and this one's saying 95%. It's pretty high confidence looking at the now if we had gone with just that first one at the 90 we, yeah. may, well, we may have yeah. wanted to try to put it down and reseat and grab again right but now you but, saved the whole iteration cycle because right. you've got those other perspectives exactly and it's all probabilities and confidence right yeah because nothing is you know concrete 